In this video, we will be going over Pronerface, which is the software that is used to communicate with your printer and heat and move parts. You can find Pronerface inside of the Print Run Win Slicer zip file that we downloaded in the last video. If you haven't downloaded this, you can watch part one of the Rebel Software video or follow the instructions for downloading on page six of your user guide. From the Print Run folder, go ahead and open the Pronerface application. Pronerface is used to communicate with your printer. Underneath the toolbar here, you'll see there's a port dropdown. This specifies whatever USB port you have used on your computer to connect to your printer. Underneath the toolbar and port selection is the control panel. The control panel is used to move the extruder head and to move the bed up and down. You can move the extruder head in the X and Y directions, moving it by 0 0.1, 1, 10, or 100 millimeters at a time. And you can also move the bed up and down using the plus and minus Z buttons. An important thing to note here is that Z here represents the distance between the needle on your syringe and the bed of the printer. So clicking plus Z will move the bed down, increasing the distance between the needle of your syringe and the bed of the printer. And clicking minus Z will move the bed up. Underneath the control panel is the heater control. Here you can enter a temperature for the heater to heat whatever material is inside of your syringe. And you can click set to do that. Underneath the grid area of your application is the custom button area. We will be adding custom buttons here shortly. To the right of the grid is the command line, which is here, and the command window, which is here. In the command line, you can send commands to your printer and the command window will give you feedback on what is happening. So when you connect to your printer in the command window, you will be notified that your printer is connected. So we're going to go ahead and add the custom buttons in Pronerface. Underneath the grid area of the application, you should find this plus box. Click on it and you should see that this text box will appear. Fill in the fields as noted on pages 19 and 20 in your user guide. For example, for the set home button, I will enter set home for the button title. I'll enter the command that's specified in the user guide. So that's G92, X25, Y25, Z0 for the command, and hashtag CCC, CCC for the color. And click OK. And you can see we have our set home position button added here. Go ahead and enter the information for the remaining 15 buttons found on pages 19 and 20 of your user guide. Once you have completed adding your custom buttons, it should look like this. Descriptions for the functions of each of the buttons can be found on page 20 of your user guide. From here, you should be ready for your first test print. 